Race fan, Monday Morning Racer, you are with me behind the wheel. This is a late model on iRacing, the first late model race that I have recorded and only the second one that I have raced in at Langley Speedway, a hard little bull ring. We'll see how we do. I'm slow. Let's see if I can just stay out of the way and finish the race. They're wrecking, they're wrecking, they're wrecking. Mother. And we've got people cursing already. People are upset. And for some reason, I've got some like, buffering going on. I don't know why, I don't know if it's my signal or I am actually running with a new monitor. It might be that. That happened, that wreck happened in the first part of the field early on. A lot of good guys taken out. It's actually put me in fourth place. And I can tell you I was not that fast. I'm hoping get the tires up the temp and get some grip and move forward. Because this thing is loose in really bad here at Langley in this late model. At least that's what I'm experiencing. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be something that comes out in the recording, but there's definitely like a buffering going on with the, the screens. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be something y'all can see, but I can occasionally see it. I tried to do some research on Langley, watch some actual racing that's been filmed and see how they get around here and what I'm doing right now is different from what they do in the real world. I'm not sure how they actually get, they, they clip the paint in turn one and then let it coast high and come back down low and I'm not sure how to get that. We definitely might be able to finish well with with everybody wrecking on the first lap, so we might be able to finish this race out and have a good finish. That would be a lot better than I was expecting coming in. The sun coming out is going to heat the track up. It was about 88 degrees at the start of the race. If the sun comes out, I'm sure it will warm up, and uh, that would definitely change the characteristics of the track. Got someone inside of me. I think most of the people that were in this race disconnected. They were in utter disgust about what happened. But I don't see anybody on the track right now. Or I am just on a completely different side of it and everybody else is on the other side. But it seems like everybody has left.
So I'm running the base iRacing setup and definitely going into turn one. I just not confident at all about turn one. Getting in with any amount of attacking it, so definitely gotta work on the setup. As the tires are getting hotter though, it seems like it wants to stick better, so that's good. And I can attack a little harder. It still wants to break out. Might try some brake bias adjusting, see if that helps. Man, still got people losing it out of control. Looks like we're on a completely different lap than most people. We were able to sneak through that wreck and, and get ahead of folks. and ram me. Yeah, you've had a bad race. definitely were some unhappy people at the beginning of the race. Again, a lot of the field was taken out. I was able to sneak to the inside and if I'm not mistaken, right now I'm sitting third and honestly able to come away with any good finish. I'll take it because I'm not that familiar with these cars. I'm not familiar with Langley at all about getting around here and I know that I'm not fast getting around here. <laughs> Just have not figured this place out. Treacherous little track that's flat and getting loose in. Just, I'm not a big fan of loose in. Maybe no one is. the tires have finally got to a good temperature things seem to be sticking and I'm able to sell it off into the corner a little bit more than I was before I kind of like riding below the painted line in three and four it seems to be working for me is getting held up a little bit. I'm sure he's not going to wait. 
though. He wasn't patient with me at all. Let's see if we can go ahead and get around the one. And we're going to be able to sneak on down below. Little loose in. And I don't, again, I don't know if it's going to come out in the recording or not, but just a little bit of buffering happening. I'll have to look at my settings. Maybe I'm, I've got the settings wrong with the new monitor. It wasn't like this in my street stock race. Could be a connection issue with somebody. So, to tell you how good the leader is and how far of a shot out he got after that wreck, he is now about to lap me, and I've been running. <laughs> so, he's definitely getting around here pretty good. Got 10 to go. Track's going to cool off last few laps around here. Maybe it'll tighten up a little bit. Honestly, at this point, I'm trying not to get lapped. And I think the leader is not pressing. I think he understands he's in a good spot and doesn't have to press. And maybe I can stay on the lead lap and be able to finish, I think, top three. coming around checkered flag and that's it that is it and let's see where did we wind up where does it say that we are at I'll keep scrolling through and find the right yeah position third so we got a third place finish out of this awesome let's see if we can take a look at the replay and figure out 
What happened? All right, lap one here at Langley Speedway in the late model stop. And coming around after taking the green, it got wild, folks. And though I am extremely slow in this car and on this track, the number 12 right there, as you can see, well, took out the whole field. The 12 took out the whole thing. Let me take it back. Look at that. Look at the carnage. And that allowed me to be able to go on to a third place finish. Kept the nose clean and was able to finish third. Wow. Ouch. Folks, thank you for watching the Monday Morning Racer. Enjoyed running around in the late model stock. Hopefully we'll get faster soon. Till next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.